Okay, I came out to water and this is a little volunteer tomato seedling growing right in front of my garage door. It gets full bore afternoon sun, so hot as heck. It gets virtually no water because I obviously it's full of rocks and some weeds. So tenacious, those are violets. So classic lore me says that violets like cooler weather. So do I. And that they'll pretty much disappear come hot weather. And usually they do. So, and then we've got this one little tenacious little dandelion plant here. I just let stuff be when it does this. Should I ever decide to park my car in the garage again, they may be suffering a little bit more than they already are, but I'm just going to let them go. So some of the more noxious weeds, you know, they've got, you know, stuff that's fairly young. I believe, Lord have mercy, there was a, let's see, a little green thing, I believe that's, a volunteer and a hyssop coming up. I'm gonna let it go. Maybe some more dandelions right there. But this thing, so the tomatoes that I have growing in my raised bed over there are kind of struggling. They are planted in nice soil. They are mulched. I do need to fertilize them. But it hasn't rained here in quite a bit. And uh, I don't really like to fertilize unless I know they're going to get adequate rainfall. To kind of wash it in. Because I'd rather let Mother Nature do it than me pay for my water bill. I anticipate next month's bill being quite astronomical. Since I'm out here watering at least every other day. If not every day. But uh, as you can see with the blue skies... Not a chance. We had that hurricane go through. This is Saturday, July 12th. Hello, Lama Hummingbird. Uh, July 12th, yes. Let's see, 15, no, 13th. Oh, Saturday the 13th. But uh, we had the hurricane that came, came up the Gulf earlier in the week, over the weekend, last weekend. Uh, I got a little bit of rain, but not a whole lot. My parents, 10 miles away to the east, got like an inch and a quarter. So, you gotta love East Tennessee. Anyway, um, what's the word? Um, so yeah, my tomatoes that I intentionally planted are suffering even though they are getting every little luxury this little weirdo you can see it's already got flowers on it it's not even a foot tall i'm hoping this isn't a spoon tomato because it'll be here for other otherwise luckily i never planted any of those free baker creek spoon tomato seeds but uh so I'm just going to let this thing go. Reason being, my parents have a kind of a similar situation going on at their house. They have a huge garden. It's an in-ground garden because they have pretty good soil. Um, but all of a sudden, we they have been plagued with deer and rabbits and squirrels and groundhogs, possums, raccoons, and the occasional bear. Imagine my mom's surprise when she opened the, the door that leads out to a little deck where my dad has a bunch of bird feeders set up and there's a bear sitting on the railing. A little shocking and a little disturbing. Um, so anyway, so some of the healthiest 
vegetation they have on the place that unfortunately the squirrels do find is a little patch of strawberries growing in gravel the corner it's the southwest corner of my parents house originally there had been a, a hanging basket with strawberries in it that it was the end of the season and they were struggling so my mom took it down off the hook set it on the ground next to the corner to be taken care of later later never came and the strawberry sent out some runners got into the gravel started growing and there's a patch of strawberries that's been growing there for 12 maybe 15 years that has the best strawberries they never get fertilized occasionally if it's been particularly dry you know my mom will water them some but otherwise they are just they're totally volunteer and they are totally like hands off you know they live or they die kind of deal maybe plants like the tough love scenario but best strawberries on the place when they can get to it before the squirrels my dad has actually come up with a uh, an idea he took the bottom off of a an old rabbit cage we used to have rabbits i had uh, german angora rabbits he took the bottom off of one of the cages and put it over most of the strawberry plants and weighted it down with a rock so you know a enterprising little animal didn't you know dislodge it because you know animals be weird and that's the only way they can get strawberries however when he does that the strawberries aren't as good <laughs> so it's basically a fight to the death to see who can get to the ripe strawberries first ah you gotta love rural living Anyway, I just wanted to show you my little volunteer tomato garden <laughs> out here watering, watering, and I keep going by looking at it going, it's going to die anytime. Nope, it's looking pretty good. So maybe I'll just throw seeds out onto the, the gravel driveway next year and see what comes up and let them duke it out. It might be a success. I'm not going to be able to go anywhere because, you know, obviously the garden's going to be in the middle of the driveway and I can't run over plants. All right. Short but sweet. Bye.